Hi, it's Frank from Natural LED. Today we're going to take a look at the Natural LED traditional wall pack with adjustable color temperatures, adjustable wattages, and a built-in photo cell. Now I hear a lot of times that LED wall packs are all the same. Well, if you give me a couple of minutes today, I think I can show you the difference. The Natural LED wall pack is made with a borosilicate hard glass lens whereas many of the competitors' fixtures on the market today are made with an acrylic plastic lens. Now, why is that important? Well, the acrylic plastic lens, over time, in harsh UV conditions like the Phoenix, Arizona sun, will degrade, yellow, dry out, and crack. This thing is very robust and very durable and will hold up under all kinds of conditions. The natural LED fixture uses stainless steel to hold up under all harsh weather conditions. Socket headed screws. The socket headed screws are the most robust and durable screws on the market today. They also come with a hex head key um, on there, which if you've used hex headed keys, you understand that it's not very likely to strip out and it's very easy to use. The natural LED hinge pins are offset, so one hinge pin is slightly longer than the other. That makes it very easy to assemble the, and put the front of the fixture on the back. The next thing you notice about the hinge pins is the natural LED hinge pins are slightly longer than many of the competitors' hinge pins. This is where the sensor, the photocell, is located. It's on the top of the natural LED fixture. Many of the competitors on there do not have, they have a knockout for a sensor, but it's not installed in the fixture. Now, and we're gonna open this thing up and take a look inside. The connector wire on this traditional wall pack from a competitor tends to be fairly small in comparison to the natural LED. Natural LED adds an additional length of wire so that it's very easy to plug in and make the connection between the two parts of the fixture. Natural LED makes it very easy to install the photo cell. You leave the photo cell in the fixture, there is a red wire that comes off of the driver that has a plastic cap on it. Take the plastic cap off, insert it into the plug on the photo cell, and voila, you have a photo cell. The natural LED driver made by Plusrite, is a potted driver, and it has dip switches on there that allows you to control the color temperature and the wattage. So you simply click the dip switches and you'll be able to toggle between 3000K, 4000K, and 5000K color temperatures. And you'll be able to toggle between three different wattages that gives you three different light outputs. Potted drivers mean that there is a compound that's injected into and encases the electronics of the driver itself. The potting of the driver keeps water from getting inside the, and damaging and corroding the electronics. The gasket on the natural LED fixture is seated inside the fixture housing. Well, what does that mean? Well, this one is not seated inside the fixture housing. That, this gasket itself, is just a plain gasket that is wrapped inside a channel that is loose in the fixture housing. The differences are pretty apparent just taking a look at the two gaskets. The size is dramatically larger on the natural LED fixture. That will seat it better, it will seal it better, and it will make sure that that um, the connection between the junction box and the housing is protected um, for a long time to come. So in my almost 30 years of experience in the lighting industry, I've learned a thing or two. And one of those things is that you can't always do a comparison between two fixtures by simply looking at the spec sheets. You really need to take a look at the design characteristics and the components of each different fixture to be able to determine what the differences are. 
because as I hopefully have shown you today, there is a difference.